I'm John Bowden. You might have noticed through, well, the last few months we've talked to musicians about deeper things, and appropriately so because a lot of these musicians are getting to that age. Hell, I'm getting to that age where you start looking at the the clock a little bit, wondering how long we're going to be here. We talk about religion, theology. We talk about uh, life and death with John Hall of Orleans. Have you, through the years, studied theology, just different religions? Uh, yeah, I couldn't avoid it because my, my little brother was, was a priest, uh, passed away some years ago, but, uh, but uh, and I was brought up in a very devout Catholic family. My mother, uh, she was the first woman in this country to graduate from a Jesuit seminary and, in the United States and um, master's in divinity. And uh, I, I heard plenty uh, from them and, you know, I picked it up as I was growing up. I, uh, I'm not a practicing Catholic myself, but I, uh, but there's so much uh, morality that I learned. And I can't claim by any means to be a saint. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, uh, that there's truth in, 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 in all these religions. Mm-hmm. And there's much, much of it's common truth. Um, the Abrahamic religions, as, as they're called. I, I, that's what Save the Mark really also displays, I believe, is uh, yeah, is this sense of right and wrong and responsibility, and uh, and so it's uh, you know hopefully it comes across not being too preachy. I've been accused of that too. Where do we go when we die? What do, what do you think? Well, my dad, being a uh, eminent scientist, said uh, that Einstein's e equals mc squared, the th- theory of rel- relativity. Uh, says that you can't destroy matter, you can only turn it into energy and vice versa. And, um, and he, I asked him this question when we were sailing together one time, and, and he said, uh, because I, I know that some people say, well, science and, you know, strict orthodox religion, you know, of any kind can't get along because they, they contradict each other just in terms of the time that creation took, for instance. And my father said, well, you know, uh, the way I look at it is there's something holding all these cells together. There's something holding the, the elements and the molecules together. And there's, uh, you know, proof that when someone dies, their body weighs several ounces less than when they were alive and so on. And he said that no one really knows what was there before the Big Bang. That's most scientists now believe that the, the Big Bang theory is, is how the universe came into being. He said there had to be an infinite power source. If the universe is infinite, which we think it is, there had to be an infinite power source before that Big Bang. What was that? And I'm like, hmm, Dad, I I don't know. You know, and he said, I just used, you know, he converted from Methodist to Catholic to marry my mom. And uh, but saw no contradiction at all between his scientific knowledge and scientific work and his religion. And uh, so I kind of, you know, in that I'm in that zone. Um, I don't claim to know. I have another friend from the 12 step programs who says, uh, uh, God is, I don't understand him. He said, anyone who claims to understand God is deluded because if God is infinite, you know, and we have, we know that we have a finite human beings have a finite mind. And so, you okay. know, so I, I, I don't claim to know where we go or what form our spirit takes uh, and what our experience is, whether it's uh, reincarnation into another physical being or whether it's uh, off into purgatory or heaven or hell, we hope not. But, but um, you know, it's, uh, it's there, my little brother, the priest, used to say, that's why they call it faith. No one knows for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well said. By the way, did your parents see your success? They saw your success, right? They did. Yeah, they they were just, you know, horrified for years, for a couple of years. But I actually, when I was 21, I, uh, when I made the kangaroo record, that was like having a record was impressive uh, back then. Uh, And, uh, but when I wrote and directed music for a Broadway show and an off-Broadway show and was on stage in the band as well, they went, he's made it. Yeah. And, uh, and then when Orleans kicked in, you know, uh, uh, Dance With Me became my mother's you know, favorite song. And, um, and they also saw me and Johanna buy a house and 
several acres up in the country in uh, in the Hudson Valley, and you know, was, they stopped worrying. And all, all parents worry about their kids, and that's really what it was. They my my older brother became an actuary, was kind of as close to my dad's you know scientific mathematical uh, side as possible. My younger brother, uh, well, my mom wanted all three of us sons to be uh, priests. So my little brother became a priest. They were okay. They were both fine. And they, my parents didn't worry about them. And I was the guy that, you know, was sleeping in the car or on a rooftop. I, I slept on rooftops in New York when I was playing at the Cafe Wild at first, because I didn't have an apartment, couldn't afford it. Six bucks a night is not going to, even back then, not going to pay for an apartment. So, and I would sleep on people's floors or on their couches when I could. And on park benches in Washington Square Park and police would come along poking with a nice nightstick and say, move along, buddy. Well, what's your take on on that kind of stuff? I mean, can you listen to new music or do you? Or it, that, what's some that? Some of it, yes, some yeah. of it I can. You know, I try to. I try to listen uh, in my car <clears throat> or listen to different playlists at home when I'm doing something else that, where I can walk around the apartment and, and don't have to sit and concentrate on it. Uh, <clears throat> there's... Uh, you know, there, there are some rock pop things that, uh, and R&B things that, that are coming out that I like. There's country, Americana music being made that I like. Um, and a lot of things that, to me, sound like a rehash of something that happened, you know, s- several times during my lifetime. Um, but I'm sure people say the same thing, thing about my music. Um, you know, it's all somebody said it all goes back to Chuck Berry, but I think before that it goes back to, you know, Broadway show tunes and it goes back to jazz. The big band era goes back to classical. Um, There's only one standing on somebody else's shoulders. Mm-hmm. 